Welcome to Palermo, the capital of the Italian island Sicily. Rich in history and culture, this ancient city is over 2,700 years old. Centuries of invasions and conquests have shaped Palermo for the melting pot it is today. This is noticeable in the different architectural styles, art, and cuisine. A visit to Palermo is an enriching experience, so let's explore the city together. Our first stop is an iconic landmark of the city, the Cathedral of Palermo. The magnificent facade highly contrasts against the interior due to the number of restorations and additions starting from 1185. Some of the architectural styles you may immediately notice are neoclassical, baroque, gothic, and moorish. The melange of religious cultures is fascinating. There are beautiful paintings and mosaics that date from the 12th century. Entrance to the cathedral is free, but you can purchase tickets to access the other exhibits and monuments. Here's the treasury, where a collection of precious jewels and religious artifacts are on display. The most notable pieces are the crown of Queen Constance of Aragon, and the Bavara Mitre. As you can see, the beadwork and gemwork is extremely detailed. Below the church is a crypt housing many sarcophagi and notable people like Archbishop Walter. It's amazing to see the embellished coffins and stonework. To conclude the tour, we headed to the cathedral roof. A narrow spiral staircase up the bell tower leads to stunning 360 views of the city. The rooftop walkway provides amazing scenery of the surrounding mountains and harbor in the distance. One of the most unique experiences during our time in Palermo was seeing the Federico Palazzo. This palazzo is centuries old and inhabited by a Sicilian Aristotic family. The son of the current Conte led our tour which made it that more personable. It's fascinating to hear the story of each room and see the memorabilia, architecture, and hear about some of their past renowned guests such as Garibaldi. Want to enjoy spectacular views of the city over dinner or a delicious cocktail? In the heart of Palermo is Seven Gardens Rooftop. This rooftop restaurant is the perfect way to cap your evening. I suggest arriving before sunset for the best view and to see Palermo's skyline light up. Coffee is a way of life in Italy. Typically, it's ordered at the bar, but we decided to have it at our apartment with breakfast. Italian breakfast is sweet, and each region has its own delicacy. Here we have bombolini, a cream-filled donut coated in sugar. This particular bombolini is filled with vanilla-flavored pastry cream. This is a cornetto, an Italian croissant that has a variety of fillings such as jam. This one had Nutella and it was amazing. A must-see while visiting Palermo is the Norman Palace, the most famous and historical palace in the city. The main courtyard features a portico, Egyptian granite columns, and stone archways. The marble staircase leads to the focal point of the palace, the splendid Palatine Chapel. Dedicated to St. Peter, the grandeur of this palazzo contains combinations of Arab, Norman, and Romanist styles. As you enter, breathtaking golden mosaics depict scenes from the Bible and Christ's life. You may notice the baptism, Lazarus' resurrection, or entry into Jerusalem. The ceiling is covered in wooden Mukarnas architecture, which is a phenomenal sight on its own. After spending some time admiring the ornate architecture and art, we took a breather at the Royal Gardens. This botanical garden consists of succulents, cactuses, and palm trees. This brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.